Hey guys, we're here for another video from my creative year for August of 2020. Um, if for some reason you found this on YouTube and you don't know what my creative year is, it's a Facebook art group and this video is unlisted. So I don't know how you did that, but welcome. Um, and if you want to join, the link for the art group is in the description below. This year for 2020, we're working on color. And we're playing with colors and color combinations and using color in our work and using color in different ways and just experimenting. And um, this month we're talking about complementary colors. So for those that don't know, complementary colors are colors on the opposite side of one another on the color wheel, generally, basic complementary colors. Years ago, I took a class with Melinda Kutsona. And if you don't know who she is, fabulous artist, and I will link her website down below. Um, and she had us take a color wheel, not unlike this one. This one is intended for watercolor paintings, but this is the one I used in the class. It looks nearly identical. And she had us take the back, which originally looked something like this with these little windows. And this arrow, so if you put it here to this orange, the complement to that is straight across the color wheel to here. Now you can do a split complementary and get three colors. You can do a triad, which is a little bit spread farther apart. And then what's this other one? A tetrad, which is four colors complementing each other in like four corners of the um, color wheel. And then you have the tones of color for each color. Um, she had us take the little windows off because she thought that they were just very distracting. And I have to say, I still refer to this one sometimes and she literally, yeah, we just cut them off. And, you know, I didn't necessarily want that other information on there, um, but it just was very simple to, you know, if you're not sure, what is, what is the opposite of, um, you know, green again? Oh yeah, red. <laughs> um, so complementary colors. So what I would love for you to do, and I don't expect you to do with a split, go to a split com complementary or the triad or anything more complicated than something opposite of each other on the color wheel. Um, you can, of course, if you want. But what I would love for you to do is just pick your, what's your favorite color? It, one of my favorite colors is sort of a blue, green, tealy color. So then I want you to, this month, work with your favorite color and then I want you to look at the color wheel and figure out what the complementary color to that is and see how you can combine the two of those into some artwork this month. For the blue green it's an orange red. So I would love to see what you guys do with that this month and incorporate that into your work. Now keep in mind if you are part of my creative year maybe you're not inspired by complementary colors. Maybe you're not inspired by the daily word or um, working with color at all this month. We do have a daily word list to inspire you for work. That also is gonna post with this video on the 1st of August. Um, but maybe none of that inspires you. I want you to say so in the group. I want you to post something and say, you know, I know this month we're working with complementary colors and today the word is blah, 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 but I'm just not inspired by any of that. So I made this today. I want you to share your work, whatever it is. Of course, if you can work with the prompts and the words, let's have you do that. Um, and let's share and it, share the journey, share the inspiration, um, share the struggle if you're struggling to be um, inspired. Um, that's what the group is for. And I would love to see you do that. Keep it art related and the art journey related. Um, we are making a lot of changes to the group. Um, going forward and we have deleted some old content if you're looking for it and it's something that you needed to refer back to let me or one of the admins know tag us in a post and we will um, see what we can do to recover the content for you um, but you know there, it's going to be interesting going forward we are going to keep the group open for 2021 we are working on um, themes and daily word inspirations and that sort of thing for the group um, so if you have um, ideas or something you'd like to see, let us know. And um, yeah, it's going to be pretty fun and pretty exciting. Um, the rest of this year, at least where art is concerned and not the rest of life. Um, and um, 2021 looks to be equally as fun and exciting. I will tell you too that when I am most of the, I have these huge giant color wheels. Most of the time I just use this little one. 
Um, it's the same, only pocket size. This one's very handy and easy to have. They're not expensive, but if you don't have um, the, maybe you don't have the budget, you can't get out to go get one, hello, because you know, pandemic. And if you don't know what I'm talking about that you're watching this in the future, Google 2020, you'll figure it out. Um, you can download color wheels from the internet. Um, just do a Google image search and you probably can find something that's printable. Um, but they're not expensive. This was, I think, less than a dollar where I got it. Um, so yeah, um, complimentary colors. What is the opposite of purple? Yellow. Opposite of blue is orange. Opposite of green is red. Yellowish green is red violet. I mean, you know, the list just goes on and on and on. So I want you to experiment with complementary colors. And also I would love to see you all experiment with using the colors on the warmer side of the color wheel for your highlight colors and the colors on the cooler side of the color wheel for your shadow colors rather than black and white. And you can take that a step further. And if you're gonna say use violet as your shadow color, what's the opposite of that for your highlight color? Yeah? So there's all different things like that you can do with it. So I would love to see you do that, whether it's um, photography or drawing or painting. Maybe you wanna see if you're a writer, you wanna see what can I do with the idea of complementary colors um, in my writing? I don't know where you'd go with that. I'm not a writer by nature necessarily, but the idea is interesting. I don't know if you can go anywhere with that, but the idea is interesting. So I'd love to see what you do. Don't forget to support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups, not just for me, but for all of your favorite creatives. Most of us have a way to um, have you support the free content. Um, check out the video description. There's a lot of ways. Um, I know in the Facebook art group, we usually have links. I don't remember if we left them or not, to be honest. Um, but if you can't figure it out, private message us, tag us in a post. We can share what the way is to, uh, to support free content. For me, the easy one is Etsy, but I also have Patreon, PayPal tip jar, like a bunch of stuff. So, um, but most of your favorite creatives have a way. And if you can't figure it out, um, ask them because they're probably, you know, for whatever reason, just not publishing it, but I'm sure most of them have a way. So ask, don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and above all, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye guys.